Yo, my name is Flavor Flav. And yeah, my name is Chuck D. The name of the group is Public Enemy. Play, please to speak to you. That's right, and we're full in effect, boy. Yes, okay, can you tell me a little bit about the group and how did you guys get into, get a signed contract with Def Jam? And what happened is uh, we used to be radio jocks back in New York. Right. And guys that used to listen to us, like Run DMC, the Beastie Boys, uh, our producer Rick Rubin. Um, LL. They used, LL. They always used to listen to our radio shows because we used to do rap on radio. And yeah. um, this was before it really got to be big on regular radio, commercial radio. So we couldn't make it in a commercial radio because of red tape. So we decided, after Rick and Ruben had asked us for about two years, we decided to swing it with uh, records. And um, that's what happened. That's where we are today. Uh, and we're having a whole lot of fun doing it. Believe it. Well, tell me about this album. You guys just really turn it out, man. It's this, the, al this album is... We you keep the album again one more Yo time? Yo Bum Rush the Show is the, it's Rat's first concept album. And um, and it's all about reality. It's about reality and um, awareness to the black um, public. That's what right. public enemy means is um, the young black male is targets of the American system, and um, the system overall works against us. You know, we go to jail first. You know, we're packing the jail, and you know, every do everybody does crime or some things like that. You, who do you see in the jails? The black male, because we don't have the resources or. The whole system is working against us, so that's why we're called public enemy. We're last on the totem pole as far as um, privilege go. And just to add on, you know, see, um, you know, we're trying to bring about a, you know, real life sense of reality. You know, everything that we talk about is reality. Everything that we write about is reality. And being that we're not on pulpits and all of that, you know, delivering the message, we're putting it on records. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people listen to lyrics on records and they comprehend. You know what I'm saying? And you got a lot of people who misinter misinterpret. But then again, too, you got a lot of people who do listen real close. Those are the ones who really understand the message in our music. Well, Chuck, man, you tell me, um, tell me why, why the concept of the Mishibishis, um, the, um, the Isu guns, whatever. Oh, you oh, mean the, 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 the Uzis? The Uzis uh, and the tr and the trademark. Why you have that trademark? Uzi. Well, basically, um, Uzi is an is an analogy I use in the record. Uzi weighs a ton, which relates um, my mind and the way that I deliver words and messages. It's rapid fire. I have a quick delivery. My Uzi weighs a ton. My Uzi is my mind. It's deep. Some people can't follow what I say. And the um, bullets are the words that he speak, boy. Are the words I speak because what I say penetrates. Our whole music, our message, comes that appears to be something at first and then screws inside your mind. There's a certain formula that we have when we put together our songs. Riot starter, message to a black man. You know, if you um, say it fast, you'll say riot starter. But it's really pronounced R-I-G-H-T, riot starter. But, um, you know, our titles are what we live and die by because one one thing, they produce shock value, and they get your attention. And then once the attention is gotten, then the lyrics start taking over. And once you understand the lyrics, then you understand what we're about. Well, the, the concept of this album is, is so unique and different because mm -hmm. of you talk about so much reality, mm -hmm. you talk about the streets, you mm -hmm. talk about what's going on and, and the effect of the black man. Right. Uh, you well, know, well, how, how would you say, compared to uh, the song, you know, when you talk about the black man, what do you mean by the black man and which way are you you want the black man to go toward I want, up? I want the black man to at least educate himself the black people out there to educate themselves education is the key and if people are educated then we know how to deal with things around us you know with education brings experience uh, or vice versa then we know how to deal with those those dilemmas that surround us because we know what they're about and if you know that's what they call education knowledge you have a lot of black people, you know, forget where they come from, you know, everybody think it's easy because, you know, this is the 80s and everybody can get a job, everybody has money, everybody has parents who had money and they never had to really struggle, but they forgot about 400 years ago there was a time of slavery and the where, you know, we didn't, we were in chains. You know what I'm saying? We were in chains, and, and you know, they forgot Harriet Tubman had to free us. You know what I'm saying? We came a long way. A lot of black people today don't realize how far we've came. We came a long way. And still in all, even though we did come a long way, we still ain't getting nowhere, but we're getting somewhere, though. And it would take something like rap because it is the sound of 
Young America, like Motown used to be, mm -hmm. but this is a new sound of Young America. Young Black America rap is not Motown, but it's get down and get some knowledge in your heads. And um, that's the part where we're coming from. Yo, bum rush the show means yo, bum rush this American system that's scrutinizing us, you know, taking advantage of us. We have to know what this system's about. The system's about business and money. Once we know how to handle those things and know those obstacles, then we could do a lot better. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta ask this question, and, and just to be brief, and I'm not being critical of rap music or anything like that, but millions of people every day, and especially white people, are talking about saying that rap music is dying mm -hmm. and it's not going anywhere. Can you just give me the, the, the concept of why <laughs> that is so hard for any other entertainers, especially rap artists, to get hard to get signed to any labels? Let me and just say one thing before Chuck goes on. The reason why r white people are saying rap is dying because their brains is dying. For uh, the realistic point, the reason they say rap is dying, if they do say it, not, not a lot of whites say that. They just don't acknowledge it yet because it's something that they don't understand. And um, if white America can't, uh, can't understand it, then that's a communicable source that we can use to get our messages across to our people. Well, I'll give you a reason why I say that. Um, there's a lady out right now who's got this book out called uh, Young Kids Living in an X-Rated World, mm -hmm. talking about the lyrics of bad lyrics and filthy lyrics. Are you talking do about you, Gore? Uh, yeah, Tipper Gore. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel that she is out going out protesting so much, and especially in lyrics and rap music, and a group I know of Beastie Boys who's on your label mm -hmm. saying that it's really hurting they're hurting the style of rap music and, and uh, white kids are, are starting to catch on to the type of music that you guys are doing or the type of music that the Beastie Boys are doing. Well, let me put it to you this way, Jeff. We travel with the Beastie Boys ourselves. Yep. And um, what rap music is to white America, it, it's something like the advent of rock and roll. It took blacks to start it and it took uh, whites to get it across. Now, the Beastie Boys have gotten rap across to all parts of America where black artists couldn't. So it's just being viewed as another new form. Now, you have a lot of black groups that are doing it. If Tipper Girl wants to attack the black groups, she has to really delve in and find out what these black groups are about. But she's not black, and she doesn't know black society, and she doesn't know what works in black society. She's the wife of a congressman that barely knows what black society is about. So um, to, put, to make a matter short, is that ignorance comes on all phases. It doesn't come from a person that, that just, is not, just isn't schooled. I mean, it could come from somebody that's schooled, but she's not schooled in all facets of life, and I'm talking about the black life, you know? So, how do you, how do you, I'm sorry. Me... So, so I'm saying she basically doesn't know what she's talking about. And another, getting back to what you were saying about white people saying rap is dying, the real reason why they're saying it's dying is because they want it to die because it's starting to get so powerful, you know. And there's something that, that black people created, and they hate to see black people get powerful. So they're saying that it's dying because they want it to die because we're getting powerful with it, and their own time is catching on to it, you know what I'm saying? Look at the Beastie Boys, the white rappers, and they're tearing it up, you know what I'm saying? They have the number one R&B and pop album on the charts because of rap music, and, and, and a lot of white people don't like that, you know what I'm saying? See, I don't, I don't like to say it's a, it's a lot of white people. Because I'm not it's, prejudiced it's, either, it's, it's I got white it's black, friends. It's black people just as well. You know, it's so it's unfair to say it's white people. You could say some white people and yeah, some no, blacks. And no. and the, the worst thing about it, I think, it's the us against us struggle. More black people are against it than whites. Yeah. I did a tour with the Beastie Boys and was accepted by more white people than you would care to believe because we take a stand. And one thing white America does respect is self-respect, and we show respect, power, um, a pride, and intimidation when we up there on the stage. What's your total, um, what's going to be your goal next um, coming up for you? And what's, what goals do you see as public enemy? Are you thinking, you, as you're sitting your bio information, that you're going to become one of the world best rappers in the, in the world? No, not one of the best rappers, but one of the best communicators to young people. And that doesn't mean rappers, you know. Uh, the thing about it is that we get a message across to young people to try to build leaders. We got a five-year plan, and in the five-year plan, we plan to do three albums. By the third album, um, our idea is to at least build 5,000 potential black leaders, mm -hmm. you know, in our music. You know, each one teach one, you know. And um, we could turn people on to teaching, and we could turn people on to learning. 
-hmm. My goal is to get everybody to understand the message of our music and not misinterpret so that way that they can learn what we're talking about. Because what, 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 what Chuck writes about, man, I'm telling you, man, the lyrics are so deep. Now, coming from the heart, if they don't misinterpret, one day the message could save their life. You know what I'm saying? And that's word up, man. Yo, man, all I want to do is say to the young people of America, because everybody here in public enemy right now, it's drug free. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody smoke. Don't nobody drink. Don't nobody do none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I just want to tell all these kids to stay in school and don't do no drugs. Leave that crack alone. I'm telling you, the crack will break your back, boy. You have any comments about drugs? Well, you know, like I said, it's always easier said than done, and talk is cheap. You know, um, what we have to prove in the long run is that people will see that we don't do drugs. Everybody says don't do drugs. I can say don't do it, and I do say that. But like I said... But do you really mean it? That's what I'm saying. Of course, I do mean it. But the thing is, everybody's saying it, and then, you know, they... they they tend to chump themselves later. I could, I say it. We've never touched drug in, drugs in our life. But the whole thing is getting people to, to believe. And people believe when they see. When they see that people are really up in our age and how clear-faced we are, how clear-eyed we are, and, uh, and your brain works. Now, the whole thing is, like I, like I told you before, we work on keying education. Education, the building of the mind. There's no way in the world that your mind could be at peak point with the drugs. Mm -hmm. Drugs ruin the mind. That's, drugs are the first thing that they, they destroy. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, so when people understand me talking about the need for education, blah, 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 I mean common sense. You know, it's basically teaching common sense and logic will prevail and tell people not to fuck with drugs. Mm -hmm. So what do you see this, um, how do you think this album's going to be doing? Um, congratulations on your um, selling that many copies with <laughs> no uh, radio play. Uh, yeah, without no radio. That's yeah. right. Without uh, no radio. You know, my, I, I, I got a whole gripe of personal war against black radio because um, black radio got, got this thing um, whereas if a, if an artist like, let's say LL Cool J, if he goes pop and he goes to pop stations, then black radio feels slighted. But black radio has always turned its back on rap. They played some rap, but the, the formats go 97% everything else and 3% rap. I'm talking about rotation, you know. So that's not a fair, fair barometer. A fair barometer right now in this day and time would be 20 to 25 percent rap music and 75 to 80 percent everything else. So my war is on black radio because the, 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 what I'm talking is some real stuff, and black radio is still hesitating to do it. So it can't be the, the, the words. It's just the, the ignorance and the laziness of black radio. So hopefully, I hope they'll pick up on some of the messages, and, but not just my music, other rap music as well. They're, they're moving slowly but surely, but I'm saying don't move slow because if a, if a star goes platinum and double platinum without you, without black radio, it goes pop. And let's say if the pop world picks up on it, then black radio got to get up on it. They got to get up on it quicker than anybody else. It's the music and it's the sound of young black America. Get up on it, black radio. Don't be lazy. Yeah, I just want to I just, I just wanna, wanna say, say one little thing. You see, we come to you real, not in plastic. Because listening to the lies is only drastic. But you listen to Public Enemy and you will see that all of our lyrics will be real to eternity. Flavor Flav. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate the time and effort. Any other comments would you like to say to uh, some of the young kids out there? Well, I'll say to the young kids, um, education, like I told you, is a key. Stay in school, but also be aware on the outside world. Listen to older people that are positive. Um, listen to a lot of people so you'll be able to decipher the positive from the negative because not everybody has the right answers. Um, also, the key is stay in school as long as you can because I went to school, I graduated college, and I could be anything I want to be. And um, I just suggest the same thing for anybody else. The whole thing is about getting together. You know? okay. All right, well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And um, it was a pleasure talking to you. And um, when we come back to Alabama, It'll be a pleasure to look for you again, because well, I like to do this again and again and again and again and again and again and uh, again. And um, Chuck D signing off. I like to say, Jeff, keep wearing this shirt. Okay. Yeah, you look good in the Public Enemy shirt, man. That's what I said. You look better than me in it. <laughs> you got the personality where I lack.